Hello everyone and welcome to The Punisher for the Sega Genesis. I kept making references to it in my videos so someone asked me to finally play it. So I guess I should get to that. This first room is just to get you used to the basic mechanics and the controls of Punisher. First of all, there are a lot of breakable objects in here. There aren't that many breakable objects in the rest of the game, but there sure are a lot here. Most breakable objects contain some kind of health pickup like this pizza. Objects can also be grabbed and thrown. Different objects go different lengths and are thrown in different ways. We have a four hit combo which we can modify to turn into a dashing punch or a kick. And we can activate the kick manually by quarter circling. So here's an introduction to long-range combat. With our pistol, we automatically lock on to any enemies and we just have to, have to smash the attack button in order to shoot. Generally, moving up and down will evade the enemy's bullets well enough. Guns are not a huge part of this game. They're an interesting gimmick, but it is still mostly a beat-em-up. Enemy- uh, uh, shoot. Any enemies with weapons are actually kind of a big obstacle. You can't walk up to them and punch them like you can everybody else, and trying to move around them to grab them is also kind of dangerous. Depending on which weapon they're holding. So we can either roll toward them and perform a rolling kick, which catches them off guard, or we can do a jump kick at them. For enemies with stick-like weapons, I prefer using a rolling kick, because if we jump in the air while there are, uh... While there are enemies with knives around, they can throw their knives at us and knock us out of the air. For the knife enemies, obviously we don't want to use the jumping kick for the reason I just mentioned, but it is rather easy to walk around them and grab them, unlike the enemies with stick-like weapons. This is because knives mostly hit straight in front and they don't have a very long range unless they're being thrown. While stick-like weapons can hit above and below, and they also have an, an incredibly long, deceptively long range. So Scully is actually a rather easy boss on his own, also here's a different mechanic we haven't seen yet. We can throw grenades by jumping in the air and pressing punch and jump at the same time. We have a limited number of grenades and it's not our desperation attack. It's just very similar. So I think the intention for this boss fight is that you would knock the weapons out of the enemy's hands and use them to attack Scully, which is what I was doing. But, uh, during the second half of the fight, I start having issues. Now, Scully by himself is actually terribly easy, and he appears as a normal enemy later in the game. I was just having trouble processing everything moving on the screen at once. Anyway, the best method to defeat Scully when you don't have a weapon is just to move up or down into him, and then do a grabbing throw. Jumping throw, I mean. <laughs> 